We are recording. Uh, last time, if you were here two weeks ago, uh, Tim uh, took us to the first Easter barbecue, Jesus cooking fish and bread for his disciples after the resurrection. And he gives to each of those disciples something to eat and to I was going to say to eat and drink. We don't know that, but perhaps there were some beers there too. We prayed with the first part of the story. We didn't pray with the last part. And we're going to go back there today. It's still the Easter season. We've every right to. It's always Easter. We're going to go back to continue the story. The disciples, including Peter, have been fed. And now Jesus is going to be asking Peter specifically to do some feeding himself. So John 21 verses 15 to 17. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. And most or perhaps all of us will be aware of the significance of the, the asking of the question three times, echoing the, the three times Peter denied Jesus, which is probably why Peter felt hurt. This isn't Jesus rubbing it in, uh, but taking Peter to the place actually he needs to go if he's to move on. That's where we're going tonight. And as ever, because this is an Ignatian way of praying, uh, you are invited there and you will be invited also to have a conversation with Jesus. So let's enter into our own places, our own space. And get comfortable in your chair. If you need to change your position, do so. If your body is asking you to do a little bit of relaxing, do that. And be noticing how you are this evening, if it's evening where you are.
Are you feeling ready for prayer this evening or a bit weary? Maybe preoccupied. And however you are, just as you are, let God look at you or be with you in any way that God wants. How is God looking at you? And whether you have a sense of God with you or not, breathe in God's love each time. And keep breathing in God's love. And also, each time you breathe out, breathe out into God. Anything you want to share with God about how you are. Anything you want to hand over. And take three deeper breaths doing that. Breathing in God's love. Breathing out into God anything you want to share or let go of. Three deeper breaths.
And what is it you want from God uh, this evening? It might be to be fed by him in some way. It might be something else. What do you want? Let him know. The scene is on the shore by the lake. And Jesus has cooked breakfast for his disciples. Scones and fish, fresh fish. So see the scene in your mind's eye. Usually our own images are the most helpful. The disciples and Jesus gathered round a fire, eating the lake. And find yourself in that group of people. You have a place there. And you might be you yourself or another character. And from your place, look around you. See the fire. Feel its warmth. Notice the surroundings, the lake, the shore. The 
the distant scene. And close to. Look at the sky. If the sun is out, feel the heat of the sun too. And see the other people. Maybe there are other disciples there. Maybe people known to you. And maybe you can see or detect in some way Jesus amongst them. What do you notice about him? Listen to the sounds. And you might smell the, the cooking, the fish, the bread. And also taste each of those. How do they taste? What's it like to have eaten with this group?
and something happens in the scene. And you see Jesus inviting Simon Peter to just go aside. Maybe it's a, a look, maybe he calls his name. How does Jesus take Peter aside? And it's okay to, to watch them, to eavesdrop, and take a look at, at Peter. A lot has happened in the last few days. What mix of emotions can you see in his face. How is Jesus looking at Peter? Where is Peter looking? And they talk and you hear some of the conversation. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. How does he say that? And Jesus, feed my lambs. And it happens again. And then Jesus asks a third time. Do you love me?
what's happening between them at that point. what happens between them, what else is said or done. And Jesus says again, feed my sheep. How does Peter feel about this mandate? And when they're ready, they return to the group. And perhaps now Jesus gives you the nod. He catches your eye, maybe he calls out your name. What happens? How do you and Jesus end up together? And when you are together, let Jesus take the lead. It might be that he asks you, do you love me? Whatever he is saying or doing, what's your response?
And there is, is there some way in which Jesus is also saying to you, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. What is he asking of you? And whatever he is asking of you, which might be what you're already doing or maybe something new about it, let this conversation between you and Jesus continue. I'm going to leave you for a minute or so for that to happen however it wants to happen. And we know that sometimes feeding others is also food for us, nourishment for us. But perhaps we need other kinds of nourishment, sustenance. So if you are to feed his sheep in your way, what do you need from him? How do you want him to feed you? and let him know. And how does Jesus respond to that? Shortly, we're leaving that place. How do you and Jesus take leave of each other? How do you and the group take leave of each other? And 
we finish this time of prayer saying, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.